What's very encouraging is that um, over the last couple of years, we've finally seen a reduction in unintended pregnancy. Uh, it, for many decades, it was it was about 50 percent, and we've actually made a big dent, uh, getting that down to 45 percent. We know that what's responsible for that is more consistent use of contraceptives and more use of contraceptives and also more use of the long-acting reversible contraceptives, the IUD and the implant. Uh, we're seeing a, a large uptake in that. It's gone from about 2% of women who used contraception back in 2002, now to 16% of women who use contraception in, um, in the last uh, cycle of data from 2015 to 2017. So we think that's had a, a major impact on reducing unintended pregnancy. It's really important for us to remember as we see this big increase in LARC usage uh, that we have to be following reproductive justice-based principles in counseling and make sure that we're not pushing a certain method, uh, that we're not pressuring women to use a certain method, but rather not thinking so much about reducing unintended pregnancy, but about empowering women to make the choice that's best for them. I'll also say uh, that the U.S. medical eligibility criteria, which is a CDC document that looks at evidence-based guidance to, for selection of contraceptive candidates, is something every OBGYN uh, should consider using. It's a free app. And as our patients are more complex and have more comorbidities, it's particularly helpful in matching up patients and their conditions with recommendations for specific contraceptive methods. I'll also say that we're now, um, uh, we've got the data to extend the use of some long-acting reversible contraception methods. So although, for example, the hormone IUD is FDA approved for five years, it can be used safely for seven. Uh, the contraceptive implant, FDA approved for three years, uh, safely can be used for four years, um, and I think soon we'll have the data for, for five. Um, we're also seeing some other uh, new things, Escher or Assure, the hysteroscopic sterilization is no longer on the market. Um, and we're seeing more and more bilateral salpingectomy replacing standard tubal ligation either with with partial salpingectomy or other methods of tubal ligation. So these are some of the new things that we're, that we're seeing.